everyone. You've almost made it through week two and I hope you're doing well. Um, I want to just give you some insight heading into week three, but before I do that, I want to touch on a few things that uh, I just want to mention in regards to your discussion post. I have been so impressed with the work and the level of um, input you're having in your discussion post as well as the dialogue you're having between each other uh, in response to your various posts so keep that up it's been really neat to read and hear about the community that you all are developing with each other to help support each other in the work that you do um, so really great job on that and um, it's been a pleasure to to be a part of that um, also, just a reminder, uh, obviously week two module will close on Sunday evening at 11.59 p.m., so make sure your readings are done for the week, your discussion posts are done, as well as your website evaluation uh, project, so uh, be sure to have that submitted to the Dropbox before week two closes. Now, looking ahead to week three, I think you're going to enjoy week three uh, in terms of the discussion post and the readings. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about uh, modules 3A and 3B first. So for module 3A, you're actually going to take a break from reading um, and you're going to listen to a podcast. Uh, the podcast is with Mike Flynn. He is the director of the Math Leadership Program at Mount Holyoke College. He is just kind of one of many new up-and-coming leaders in the math education world. He was a second grade teacher for many years and then got into higher education from there. Um, so you're going to listen to his journey. You're going to hear about uh, the teachers that inspired him. You are going to um, hear about some ideas that he ha is presenting in terms of math education. He's going to talk a little bit about the Prin Principles to Actions book, which is a book that you are reading for week five. So hopefully you purchased that book and you maybe started reading it already. Um, he's going to talk about that, why it's such a valuable book for teachers to read. Um, he's also going to uh, talk about some uh, resources that you may not be aware of. So I mainly just want you to listen to his podcast and in the discussion post for Module 3A, talk about how what you hear from him maybe relates or doesn't relate to your experiences as a teacher, whether you're a new teacher or whether you're a veteran teacher. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. It'll be a break from reading. I know for me, I always need a break from that in graduate school. So it's something you can just listen to uh, at your leisure. So enjoy that. It's about 30 minutes, so it's not too long. But I think, it, like I said, I think you'll find it really enjoyable. You're going to be reading a chapter from Mike Flynn's uh, book next week. So it'll kind of lead into that as well. So it'll really lead into weeks four and five in terms of your readings. Um, in Module 3B, you are going to be uh, reading two practitioner-based articles, so we're going to take a break from the research articles, um, so that might be a good thing for some of you. Um, and these are both from Teaching Children Mathematics. One is regarding uh, grade level expectations, so it kind of will set the stage for when Common Core, right before Common Core got introduced, so you can kind of see the way that things were before that. Um, and then you're also going to read one from Teaching Children Mathematics on the use of calculators in the math classroom, which is always an interesting topic. Um, and then you'll make your discussion posts for Module 3B. So these will both be practitioner-based articles. <clears throat> uh, in terms of your major assignment for Week 3, you will be doing your standards paper. So what you're going to be doing for that is you're going to be using your Navigations book that you selected for the course, and you're going to select four of the lessons from that book. Then you are going to uh, present a Word document, PowerPoint, whatever you would like in terms of the format, but I would like for you to give me the name of the lesson from your book for each one, give me a brief summary of the lesson, uh, three to five sentences at most. I don't want a long summary, but just so that if I don't have the book I can know what the lesson's about. Um, and then I want you to align the lesson to your Tennessee math standards. Uh, for whatever grade you uh, see that it's fit, I want you to align it to both the content and the practice standards. And this may be more than one content standard that the lesson aligns to, and it may be more than one practice standard. So that's okay. Just list all that you feel that it aligns to. Uh, when you do list out the, the standards, uh, content and practice standards that your lesson aligns to, be sure and include for the content standards the number code along with the actual standard. So for example, if your lesson aligns to 
k.cc.a.1, you would list that, and then you would list what that standard says, which is count to 100s, 100 by 1s, 5s, and 10s, count backward from 10. So you would list all that out. Uh, in terms of the practices, I want you to list the code for the practice, like for example, MP4, and then you would list what that one says, model with mathematics. You don't have to list the whole paragraph or anything like that. So four lessons, summarize briefly what the lesson's about, and then align it to the standards. So you can do one after another in a Word document or PowerPoint or whatever uh, method you see fit for your book. Also be sure and include uh, at the title uh, and a quick introduction what book you're using um, for this standards paper. So I hope that you enjoy kind of diving into this navigation series book. This is the series has been around a while, uh, but it's very valuable lessons uh, produced by NCTM that I think that hopefully you'll be able to use in your classroom um, and gain some insights from. So that's week three. We are moving on. If you have any questions, again, always I'm more than welcome to help you. So contact me and I will see you at the end of week three to start week four. Have a great week and enjoy your weekend.